Ladies and gentlemen, would you have guessed it's another Supreme Commander 2 cast? Well, I'm sure you did, because you are so smart. And speaking of smart people, only the smartest people are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button, ring that bell, so you can be, well, notified of all the hot Supreme Commander 2 action this channel has to offer. Lots of you guys aren't subscribed, but watch my videos anyway. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you risk missing something fun like this? Guys, seriously, help me out. Subscribe to my channel. It helps me immensely, and it's free to you. So anyway, guys, let's get on with it. It is a Van Horn Core, probably Supreme Commander 2, the Supreme Commander 2 community's most favorite 3v3 map. Yeah, easily. So anyway, guys, if you're interested in skill-based matchmaking, like a matchmaking system, join the OSS Discord server to get involved with that. And if you're interested in another type of Discord, uh, you know, just be part of the Supreme Commander 2 community as a whole. Join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. It is awesome. So anyway, guys, let's get this on. We got Team 1 over here where my arrow's going over. And Team 2 where my arrow's going over. And we got some guy calling 300 being crazy. Dr spun. <laughs> okay. We got Colin 300 being crazy. Spawning in as the orange UEF commander. Dropping down. A land factory way, way far forward, way farther forward than recommended. Guys, don't try this at home. I think Colin might be a professional. And he has, he is egoing all the things. He's going to be behind on units, but he's going to be way ahead at his opponent's throat. And we got Kenny spawning in as the Brown Aeon Commander dropping down a double air factory opener. And he's going to. Be sure to scout and make sure scouts die, but I don't think I think this one's getting away. But this is the air factory spot. This is the air player spot. If you are playing any faction and you get this spot, you are the air spot. Don't tell your friends to go megalith that you're going megaliths because you are losing. And then we got Fortuna spawning in as the green UEF commander dropping down a. I wanted to call that a research station, but it's definitely a radar, and. I don't know what he's going to do against a fully vetted Megalith <laughs> when it's a yellow Aeon player. So we got fully vetted Megalith spawning in as the yellow Aeon commander dropping down a triple research station and letting his engineers build land factories. And he's getting a radar station up there. And what is... Okay, he's got three research stations. That's what Fortuna's doing. Okay. And then we got... BG AF TF so he's going to be called BG spawning in as the blue UEF commander not really helping out with his ACU really should be going back and forth with his ACU at least doing one I would like to see that and that's the air spot for them so he's got the double air factory opener I love the double air factory opener there BG and then we got purple spawning in as the purple Cyber Commander Gent, thank you for calling yourself being purple when you call yourself purple. I appreciate that. With a double land, fa triple quad land factory opener. Trying to dislodge Colin. Let's see how purple does. I think I know who purple is. Is it Protostar? I'm not going to say it is, but I love that he is trying. Why didn't he? He should have committed to that. What? Why you? Why you? Why you stop, purple? You could have had a UEF factory. But I think he wants to destroy this one. And that... Oh, no. He was getting hit with MMLs. And uh, he's getting hit with MMLs still. So... Oh, he's having uh, an engineer steal it. Not a great idea. A point defense. Okay. <laughs> and that's kind of funny. These uh, meteors are in range of a point defense. It's definitely not what you want. Purple sucking up that delicious yum yummy mass. That mass, yo. And there's nothing. Where is BG? BG! Oh my goodness, Purple's dead. An anti air tower going down. Okay. Little worried there for Purple there for a minute. Like, wow, that was that was going all bad for him there for a second. And Colin 
I think is in a phenomenal amount of trouble. I think Colin is definitely in deep doo-doo. And I do believe Kenny's in doo-doo as well. Kenny's not going to have a good day at all because, yeah, be the wrath of the UEF, that is exactly what happens when you try to play against the UEF. However, UEF can't bomb, so Kenny could put all his research into his ACU and just teleport across the map, get it right here and boom, or right here. I don't know how far it goes, maybe right here and go boom or walk up or walk up that way and then teleport in and, well, now you have an ACU in your base and that's going to suck. Now, fully vetted Megalith is right out front of Fortuna's door. What is Fortuna going to do? I don't know. I mean, I like how Fortuna... Hey, there's Helios spawning in. Not spawning in. Signing in. Well, hello, Helios. Hopefully, you watch this video and say something nice. I really appreciate your kind words. But, hi, Helios. But, anyhow, Colin is in trouble. And I like how there are a bunch of meteors in anticipation to the long range uh, point defense. Now, Colin made some interesting choices in his build but he's not out yet and neither is Kenny Fortuna is repairing himself good move there now all fully vetted Megalith really has to do is get a bunch of engineers and just rush him forward and just take this out well, just kidding. There's a point defense. Okay, a fortified artillery. Now, that's that's not a bad move there. Okay, this is going way too slow. My bad, guys. My bad. How long was I like? Wow, I had it going slow for a really long time. I am super sorry, guys. That is not good. So this is going to be a problem again for Kenny. Yep. Yep. That sucks for Kenny. Kenny's doing his best though. The meteors aren't going to do a whole bunch against the fish dudes. Because all the fish dudes have to do is move slightly to the left or right. And meteor's not going to do a whole lot. Oh, that's going to suck. We got Fully Vetted, who's putting all of his research into his ACU. That's going to that's gonna suck once it gets to teleport, because he's definitely going back there. However, you know, Fortuna could be putting all his research, or saving it, and he could dump it all into the Mass Extractor point defense. And I like how Cobra now has... I'm not Cobra. How purple has Cobras. That's the way to do it. And that fortified artillery, a very expensive unit, is now gone. So Colin is in trouble. Like, there's no way around it. He's in trouble. That's a better placement for the fortified artillery. It's not going to do a lot, but it's going to do enough to... Oh, wow! Kenny for the save! Coming in there, helping out. And... Kenny, turn your planes around. Turn your planes around, Kenny. Oh, wow. Kenny's doing good there. Good job. Don't listen to me. Kenny, I like it. I like it. Okay. Is Kenny going to take... Kenny's doing some damage. Putting some work in. And now he's getting worked over. Yep, Kenny's getting worked over now. Oh, Kenny's going to have a real bad day. Oh, poor Kenny. Oh, man. Kenny's going to have a bad day. Yep. Kenny's having a terrible day. Like, being double teamed sucks. Yeah, being double teamed is not a good time whatsoever. Now, let's see what's happening here. We see a lot of missiles. I like the the shields. I don't understand the shields. I, he's going to build up. He's going to build a loyalty gun. Kenny's losing everything. Kenny's in the poorhouse, dude. And so is Colin. What is Fortuna going to do? Fortuna's the only one on his team who has a reasonable amount of stuff that's doing okay. 
Like, Purple's kicking butt. BG's kicking butt. And Fully Vetted Megalith's kicking butt. Kenny's having a bad day, dude. This is like bad times for Kenny. Kenny's ACU is getting bombed by his opponent's bombers. And that feels bad, man. Feels real bad, man. And Purple is helping fully vet it out. And this is going to suck. I like how he's got shields, too. What's shooting so fast? Oh, yeah, I have it up to three speed, so that's going to be interesting. So, Colin, for some reason, is giving time to rebuild. Oh, just kidding. He's getting bombed to death. If he gets underneath the factory shield, he might be okay. Get under the shield, though, brother. I don't know why BG's sticking around. That's a lot of anti-air. That's like a whole lot of anti-air. Oh, this sucks. Jump jetting Cobras. Oh, but they're getting jump jetted into point defense. No, they were AA. Wow, this this sucks for Fortuna. Oh my goodness. What is Fortuna going to do? Purple. Oh man, you need not to walk so close. Oh, don't jump jet either. Oh no. Wow, how fast that force dies. They have shields though. They're doing a they're doing they're putting some work in. A very annoying group of units. Fortuna's out in the open. Bombers overhead. What will Fortuna do? Honker! Oh, I love it. What is Fortuna going to do, though? I don't know how any... How Team 1 is coming back from this. I think this is game over for Team 1. Like, the air game is being ran away with. The land game is being ran away with. I mean... Look at all these bombers. Really, if I was BG, I'd be taking out resources. I'd be like, boom, you don't have a mass, you don't have a mass, you don't have a mass. Like, start picking mass extractors off, you know? Don't go after the ACU yet. Kenny has got too much protection. Or does he? Maybe. Wait. Oh, Kenny's dead. Don't listen to me, BG. Boom, and down goes Kenny. So the air player's gone. Fortuna and Colin, what are they going to do? They killed Kenny. <laughs> oh, you killed Kenny. Oh, is there... Oh my goodness, there's tactical missiles. Four of them. A very rude unit to build, but very effective. Fortuna is not going to survive. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know how. And I like how Colin is sucking up delicious yummy yummy mass. That mass, yo. Colin, what you going to do, bro? Colin, what you going to do? Colin, why are you just standing there, man? Spread them. Probably a really smart thing sending bombers over to see what's going on over here. That's a really good move. Only if we use them, though. Getting some delicious yummy yummy mass. There's at least one anti-air in there, right? <clears throat> I don't know how Team 1's going to win this. I, I think I think they should just team two is like winning Fortuna's in trouble. What is Fortuna gonna do? Is he have hunker? He's got hunker but Those tactical missile launchers are shooting right at the ACU that is Fortuna needs to get up. Oh Those aren't joke missiles either Oh my goodness, Fortuna's in trouble. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a slow death, dude. That gantry got taken out. This is a slow, slow death. Like, I'm kind of, like... I want to see what happens, but... Like, look at this. This is a swarm. Like... There's a loyalty gun coming. Like, what is Fortuna gonna... What, what is Fortuna got? He's doing a great job. Colin and Fortuna are doing a great job at staying alive. I gotta tell you that. <clears throat> oh, there's the loyalty gun. Taking away Fortuna's shields. I think this is game. Yeah, this is definitely game. Like, what... Where did all those bombers go? Okay, those bombers are over here, and they're... Why are they going out to Colin's ACU? Nice hunker by Colin, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough. Yeah, I think Colin's dead. Dude, it'd be a miracle if Colin survives this. And it's... Boom! Down goes Colin. So... What is Fortuna going to do? Like, this game's over. This is... Oh, yeah, Colin's dead. I mean, Fortuna's done. What? Oh, my goodness. What is... Wh what is happening here? And this is the death of Fortuna right there, right? This should be it. What? So Fortuna's still alive. I'm going to speed this up. He's He is going to draw this out. He's going to do his best to stay alive. <gasps> oh! What? What just happened? Oh, he just... Oh! Why did he do that? He jumped in the middle of all those point defense. Oh my goodness! Fortuna's definitely going to die now. He's in the red. He can't possibly survive this. Why did I speed it up right then? Okay, what... Fortuna! What are you doing? <laughs> How are you alive? Repair that ACU. Oh my goodness. Peace shields. That is a good choice. So many bombers. Just so many bombers. And, an, and here comes a nuke. This will this will stop them. This will stop them. This will end it. Now. That is so many bombers. Fortuna, how are you going to survive this? Like, I don't... I don't know, dude. Like, that is so many bombers, and that is so many... Eagle Eye bombers. That is so many... Eagle Eye bombers. I said, but so many bombers, and so many bombers. And Cobras. These factories stop building. They're going... New okay, there's a problem. That's a good job there, Purple. Now... Now, this is game over. Surely, Fortuna's not going to survive this. Peace shields are just so good. And they... Why they leave? Commit, dude. Commit. Oh my goodness. 
The UEF ACU is incredibly powerful and is incredibly strong at surviving. Like, this is why people do it. And I'm going to speed this up because this video is going to be like two hours long because Fortuna is not giving up and we commend him for that. This nuke almost done. That nuke is almost done. Is that nuke defense almost done? He better have one done. Mass conversion. This is going to be a problem for Team 2. I mean, Team 2 is going to have a really hard time. Now, that's a whole... Okay, mass converter for purple. Do not build... Okay, he's spacing them out. Good job there, purple. I love it. Spacing them out is the right thing to do. Now, there's going to be a point where these long-range artillery stations are going to attack one thing, and they're going to break right through shields immediately. Jump jets on Fortuna's ACU. Okay, that's a lot of bombers. Like, I'd be scared. I would be scared if I were Fortuna. Not even breaking through the shields first run. These bombers aren't going to do it. Now, the artillery should be aiming at the ACU. Yes, exactly. Exactly. This should be it. This should be it. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, Fortuna's done. Oh, there he goes. Wow, Fortuna, dude, you held out like a champ. I thought Fortuna, um, what he, what was, what was that? He, he ejected, and there's nothing to kill him there. And I would have been like, what? No. But he didn't eject. He just got blowed up. And if he ejected, he would have stayed alive, and that would have been so funny. You would have been the most annoying UEF commander. That's that's the power of UEF guys. Like in mid to late game, they that that ACU becomes a powerhouse. So very well played there, Fortuna. I have to applaud you for your survival. I was expecting you to win there for a second because he because Fortuna sent it to me. He sent this this uh, replay, and I was like, wow, Fortuna, wow, dude. Like I was expecting him to win because like that was crazy. That was a crazy turnaround. So, very well played there, Fortuna. Very well played there, Colin. That was an interesting strategy, pushing up. Awesome job there, Kenny. Not, um, good job there, fully vetted mass. Probably shouldn't, uh, you know, teleport in the middle of a circle of point defense. Just a, just a thought, you know. Probably shouldn't do that. Nicely done there, BG. And good job there, Purple. That was... Yeah, he was going to die regardless. I mean, there's... Purple, all purple had to do is just keep building these long range heavy artil long range artillery. I mean, it, that would have been it. Like, cyber artillery is just so good. But Fortuna, wow, dude, your survival skills, I'm, I'm impressed. Don't mess with Fortuna, guys. So, like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorite it, because that helps me out, and send your good replays to steelspeaks at gmail.com, or do like Fortuna and join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server, and, um,. Yeah, join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server and go to hashtag replays for Steel Speaks and put it there and at me. And, or you could also send it to me direct message on Discord. And yeah, comment down below, say something nice with the players. Just be like, wow, Fortuna, you really, really did a good job. Even though you got blowed up there in the end, but you did a good job. So I'm going to applaud Fortuna. Like, Fortuna, super good. Super awesome. So yeah. You know, guys, give them some love down below. 2020 was a hard year. 21, 2021 isn't going to be that easy, maybe, at least in the beginning. Hopefully things get better. Guys, seriously, say nice things. That's what, that's what we need to do. So, yeah, if you like what I do and you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon page. Uh, I don't have very good rewards. I'm sorry about that. I will cast you. However, I do a have a Patreon page, and that's one way to support me. And that's one way to keep me motivated. And also, if you want to do that, but you don't like Patreon, don't have a Patreon account, don't want to sign up, that's fine. You could buy one of my band's songs or my band's entire discography. That would mean the world to me and really help me out. It's very cheap. 
Uh, it's less than five bucks, less than four dollars even. You could buy my band's entire discography right now. And bandcamp.com. My band's name is Black It Out, of course. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this show with your friends, family, and foes because I need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G-G. G-G.